Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. There's one, one body, one body of Christ, and uh, uh, likewise, we only have one body. So I, I want to talk about that. Uh, our identity as a temple, just for a moment. Because uh, cause that very statement sets a parameter in my life. It sets a boundary. It sets uh, uh, dynamics for my relationships uh, with others, with God, with, with myself even included. And uh, <laughs> so, so I, I believe that if we fully comprehended uh, this fact, we would live different. If we, believe, if we fully comprehended that we are a temple, that, that our identity is a temple of the Holy Spirit, it, the, the, the Spirit of God wants to come. The Spirit of the living God wants to come and live in my life, wants to come and live in your life, wants to come and transform you, wants to give you joy again, wants to give you uh, power again. Amen? Power to, to just to smile, ju just to be unafraid. <laughs> I, I could I could talk to you for uh, maybe six weeks about fear and how and the effects of fear and and I could even talk to you about understanding the fact that perfect love takes fear away and and if we would come to embrace perfect love in our life how how much greater would all of our relationships be how much how much uh, a more of a pure life could I live if I wasn't so concerned about fear in my life just this that one thing if I understood fully that I am the temple. You are the temple. We are the temple uh, temple of the living God. Uh, what would that do to our worship time? What would that do to, to, to uh, our examination of love? If, as we look at love, how, how, would, how would my definition of love change if love actually lived in my temple? <laughs> if, if what I had inside of me wasn't all, all yucky. I think, I think Jesus actually talked about this when he talked about the scribes and Pharisees, the people that knew about the Bible. The people that studied the word, the people that were uh, of that day that were scholars and very smart and very intelligent people, he t he talked about them how they had they were like a sepulcher, they were pretty outside, but inside they were full of dead men's bones and and all kind of uncleanness is what he said, and and I I just think I I, I can't stand here and, and and preach to you enough about the 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 necessary need for all of us, every one of us, to clean house, to come, let, let the Spirit of God come in and clean away, to take away, to wash away, to cleanse, to, to straighten up the inside before we try to go and straighten up the rest of the world, okay? Because you can't, you, can't, you can't fix them if you can't fix yourself. And, and I can't fix myself, but I know, I know a God that, that can fix anything. There is nothing beyond repair when it comes to him. He's come to heal the broken heart, come to set the captives free. He's come to restore. He's come to move us to a place of wholeness. Amen. And uh, I, I, I was looking through, through the word and I was thinking as I was preparing this message. And I, I, I remember in Proverbs 6, uh, 16 through 19, there's, there's um, uh, six things that God hates. And so I, I thought it would be kind of fun. <laughs> I say that facetiously tonight, but I thought it'd be kind of fun if we would go and look at those six things, okay? And, uh, and if we would name a temple after the six things. And, and so I thought I would just give you a list of six things so, uh, that God hates. God doesn't like these things. And so, uh, and maybe you can identify with a few of them. Maybe that's, that's you tonight. And maybe that's something you should think about, something that you should pray about, something that you should, should consider changing the name of your temple, okay? So uh, uh, I, I would maybe make some t-shirts for everybody so we could identify you guys as we walk by you every day. Uh, but uh, how about this? Temple of the pride. Temple of pride. Temple of the liar. <laughs> how about this one? Temple of wicked imagination temple of mischief, right? Temple of false witness, temple of discord. Think, think about that. Uh, stirring up stuff, you know, mischief. Think, think about that. Liar. You know, uh, those, those are temples. Those are, those are real individuals that walk around every day and, and 
we walk by them, we probably work with them. Maybe we live with some of them, I don't know. But uh, it, when you think about 1 Peter 2, verse 5, Peter says, you're a lively stone, uh, you're lively stones and are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Amen? The key is we must, we must take Jesus in. Okay, so I made another list. I gave you the nasty one first. So if we make another list, we can take up a new, a new list because I'm offering up something inside of my temple right now. That's true. That's very true. That statement I just said, we are all offering up something right now. And so if I make a new list, temple of power. That sounds better, doesn't it? Temple of power, because power, all power is in me, right? Temple of truth. The truth is in me. That's the word of God. Temple of a pure mind. The, the word washes my mind and makes it pure. I, I, it's so powerful. Temple of purpose. See, the word of God, the relate, my relationship with God will, will give me new purpose. Amen? Uh, temple, temple of the living God. The living God. The, the, my God is not dead, right? A newsboy sang that song, God is not dead. He's surely alive because he's living on the inside. Uh, temple of purpose. Hey, amen? Let me just give you an affirmation. Uh, my temple, my temple doesn't belong to me. My temple doesn't belong to me. Amen? That's so powerful. It belongs to Jesus. Amen? So, let, let me just pray with us as we, as we close here tonight. Father, Lord, I, I just believe right now that strongholds are coming down. I, I believe that, that you are alive and you are well tonight, Lord. And so, Lord, I ask you to come and visit the temples. All of the people that are under the sound of my voice right now, Father, I ask that you touch them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord. Lord, I ask that you help us, Lord, to open our heart to you tonight. And, Lord, that we could let you fully come in, Lord. That we could fully expose, Lord, everything that needs to be exposed, Lord, so that you can come in and heal us, Lord, and take us to a place of wholeness, Lord. Forgive us right now, Father, of our sin, of our shortcomings, Lord. We confess you as Lord and Savior. And we ask you, Lord, to come in and 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 come and be Lord right now in this moment, Lord. We believe that you died for us, Lord, that we could have uh, forgiveness of sins. And Lord, that you rose again on the third day, Lord, so that our hope now is in you, Lord. Uh, even as you rose again, we also can rise up in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just pray that prayer, believing by faith that, that we, we, we have received right now, even right now, God, forgiveness, Lord, of sin. Lord, we have, we have received purpose in our life. We have received a new hope in our life. We have received new power in our life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I, I want to really encourage you tonight to, to go to our website, mybreakthrough.online, and uh, just, just go there. We have a prayer wall. Uh, we would love to connect with you. Uh, on the homepage, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have uh, well over 500 videos up there now of, of uh, just really good, powerful teaching. It will really bless your life. Uh, you also can uh, like us on Facebook. You can message us uh, on this video, under the video there. Uh, we would love to connect with you. If you're in Rockford, Illinois, we would love to have you come and be a part of one of our, our services at, or at 10 a.m. Uh, we meet at Camp Winnebago. There's a map right to that site. We would love to see you uh, and love to connect with you. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing you real soon. God bless. Have a great night.